and welcome to our channel. You are entering flour, eggs, and yeast, and we are doing a Irish Cake 2021 collaboration with Lorelei at Cakes with Lorelei, where she'll be teaching you how to pipe buttercream clover flowers with leaves. I mean, look at that gorgeous cake. And then Karen, within the kitchen with Karen, she is making a dark chocolate Guinness cake with Bailey's buttercream icing. And last but not least, Molly with Molly Cakes. She's gonna be showing you how to use a stencil on your cake for lips and a kiss me I'm Irish saying. And if you're a Food Channel, we have a challenge for you. All of this month, March 2021, we would love to have a call to action to bring the community together to reach different platforms if you can do three things. One, make a cake or cupcake with an Irish or green theme. You can do it. Even those barbecue fellows, I know you can do it. You talking to me? Number two, use the hashtag Irish cake 2021 in your description in your title i'm gonna pop it up right here Woo! you're gonna want to use that description because we're going to be tying all the videos together in a playlist so that they're available for people to be looking for cakes cupcakes with an irish or green theme and then the third rule is going to be making sure to produce your video any day in the month of march call to action guys make sure to come participate with us we would love to have you now let's get this cake going what you're seeing on your screen is going to be a deep chocolate cake this is my favorite cake i've ever had we started producing this when we owned our bakery back in texas you'll notice that in the recipe linked below and on our website it is so soft and moist it'll be the best chocolate cake you have ever had Now for the buttercream, so I'm using leaf green and all I'm doing is I'm doing one drop in one batch of the buttercream and then two drops in the second and then I'm keeping the third pure white. And we're gonna be using these three different buttercream dishes for an ombre effect, which I'm pretty excited. We have not yet produced this on our channel, so let's go ombre cake, Irish St. Patrick's Day theme. Let's put it together. So we're going to be doing a play on Andy's Mint. So we have the dark chocolate cake, and then we have a slightly Andy's Mint flavored vanilla buttercream. And then you can see that in between each of the four layers of cake, I am using chopped up Andy's Mint to put in the middle. You will see that on the outside of each one of those cake layers, I'm putting a pipe of green buttercream and then white on the inside. They're the same flavor buttercream, it's just for a visual effect. Once you have your four cake layers stacked and ready, we're gonna be doing a crumb coat. So if you've been following us before, Christy, we are doing a crumb coat where you are just putting a light layer of frosting so that it captures all the crumbs. You pop it in the refrigerator. That's where my refrigerator is. You pop it in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes so it hardens up and then you can add your final layer of buttercream so that it's nice and smooth. So the cake is now set with the crumb layer and now it's time for the ombre. You're gonna see that I'm gonna take a 16 inch pastry bag. If you need pastry bags, we'll have them linked below. And I just snipped the end. You don't need a tip for this. You can see that I'm using my cake stand to help move the cake around as I apply even pressure to the pastry bag. And we're gonna be taking a bench scraper 
and just being able to turn that cake around so that it, it melds all together. Best practice, this is from one of the channels that we follow and that I love. Just a, a side note, her name is Suzanne's Sweet Kitchen and she provided a great hack where she heats up her bench scraper with super hot water. She wipes it down and then she does one last round around that cake and that provides such an even smooth cake experience. So definitely check out Susie. So if you followed our channel before, we typically have multiple colors of buttercream. You take a large sheet of plastic wrap, pipe the buttercream of the three different colors or more, you roll it up, you snip off the end, you put it in a pastry bag with a tip of your choice, and you're ready to go. And now we're gonna be putting just some Andy's mints on the top of the cake to show what flavor profile it is. This part I am so excited about. These are what we are calling sugar bombs. If you've been following our channel, you know that how much we love hot cocoa bombs, but it's time to pivot and try out some sugar bombs. So I'm placing these sugar um, spheres on top of the cake in a nice decorative pack. And you can see there's two, for, two different size shapes on there. Definitely, if you want to learn how to do this step-by-step -step and create these, we're gonna be linking the video that just released this past week so that you can check it out. It was awesome. It's fun and it's, it's fancy. I am so excited that we were able to produce this cake alongside Molly, Lorelai, Karen. Becky. I'm gonna pop up their videos on their cakes up on the screen right now. So please be sure to check out each one of those ladies. And then again, if you wanna participate with myself, my name is Teresa, my husband is Cam. So we're gonna be participating in the hashtag Irish Cake 2021. We wish you a wonderful rest of your March and we'll see you next week. Bye guys. a Mickey. <laughs> Cammy, I made a Mickey Mouse. Huh? Like it it literally looks like Mickey Mouse. <laughs>